now we go into the kind of important concept of pipeline speed up basically pipeline speed up is a fraction of the time taken without pipeline by the time taken with pipeline so let n be the number of instructions so see see that very clearly okay then let n be the number of instructions and k be the number of stages in the pipeline so the number of stages by that we mean for a four stage pipeline the no, k will be 4 for and the for the five stage k will be 5 so the speed up the uh, the speed up is n into k that is time taken without pipeline by n plus k minus 1 that is time taken with pipeline n into k happens because uh, time taken without pipeline means it is a this kind of sequential execution in that in, in if there are three instructions then num number of stages as these have only two stages then k is 2 so 2 into 3 that is 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 that is a number of clock cycles it takes to execute the three instructions so that is where the n into k comes now here also if, it, if it's done n into k only will come Num uh, number of stage uh, if there is 4 and the number of stages were 4 into 4 16 will come as the n into k now the uh, n into k now the n, into n, n plus k minus 1 how this comes is we already know like from the four, fourth clock cycle onwards we can see that one instruction is getting executed in every clock cycle but before that we are having uh, like uh, for the fetch one and d uh, fetch one d1 and d1 we are having no instruction that is getting executed uh, so that is uh, but that also should be counted while we are taking the uh, we are counting the number of clock cycles so for that we take k minus 1 that is for until here we have let uh, if there is a 4 stage pipeline then 4 minus 1 that means 3 uh, 3 is here 3 clock cycles are taken here and from there we are taking like the first instruction is getting executed second third until n will get executed so basically the k k minus 1 here k minus 1 plus 1 2 3 4 like that instruction is getting executed and the n, n induction until that will get will get executed so that is n plus k minus 1 that is the number of clock cycles that are taken here that is what you have written here n plus k minus 1 see how that comes it is from here very basic so if you put those numbers in we'll get the final speed up for, so for example for a 5 stage pipeline and there are 100 instructions then the speed will be calculated as 100 into 5 n into k by 100 plus 5 minus 1 104 so that will come out as 4.81